Hi, I'm Eric Siegel with Eric'sTrains.com, and welcome to episode 41 of my video train blog series. Okay, for this episode, we're taking a bit of a field trip. I'm on my way over to Legacy Station in Lilburn, Georgia, and that's the train store that I buy most of my O scale trains from. I'm going over there today to pick up a new train. Now, it's not a new release, it's been out for several years, but up until now, I just haven't gotten around to ordering one. I'm going to pick up some MTH European O scale trains. I'm getting a steam engine and some passenger cars. Now, I've already got a couple of MTH European steam engines in my collection, but up until now I haven't had any passenger cars. The steam engine that I'm picking up is a French Nord Brown 231 Pacific. It's a gorgeous steam engine. And then I'm also getting some Orient Express passenger cars. Now, they've made 10 Orient Express passenger cars. I'm picking up the first five today. They come in sets of five, and there are two sets. So today, I'll be picking up the steam engine and the first five Orient Express passenger cars. So we should be to Legacy Station in about 15 or 20 minutes, and once we're there, we'll go inside and check out the new train. And also, while we're there, we'll check out the store, because the last time I did a blog episode over at Legacy Station, they were just moving into their new store, and now they've got it all set up. They've also got a nice layout set up, so we'll take a look at all of that when we get there. And like I said, we'll be there in a few minutes, and we'll check it all out. Okay, here we are at Legacy Station. Let's go ahead and go on in. Now, the last time I videoed Legacy Station, I think they were still unpacking in the new store. So since then, they have uh, settled in and everything's looking really nice. So we'll go on a little tour. So this is the train section over here. There's the uh, undecorated 412 too. Pretty cool. And we're going to wrap around and then we will go to the layout room, which last time was under construction and they've, they've since finished the layout. So this is all trains. A lot of the starter sets are on this wall. And then track, stuff like that is around here. And then non-train stuff or kids trains, you know, Brio sets and stuff are over there. So pretty neat. So now let's go back to the layout room. <clears throat> and here we go. There's Brian running the trains. <laughs> and this is their layout room. Looks a lot different than last time. Now what I'm gonna do is stop the camera for a second and put it in super widescreen mode and that way we'll get kind of a panoramic view of this thing. And I'm going to give you a night view too because the night view is really cool. Okay, here's the uh, panoramic view with the super wide view on the GoPro camera. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool. All the trains that are running on the layout right now are MTH, just in case you were wondering. And Brian's going to turn off the lights and give us a night view as well. <laughs> That's awesome. Boy, my layout looked this good at night. Not bad for a store layout, I gotta say. These are those new wooden seats, buildings. Well, oh yeah. Highly detailed, out of the box buildings. That's awesome. And there's even a chair for the wife to sit in. <laughs> and there's a Chrysler building over there, you see it? <laughs> oh, yeah.
what's amazing is they built this layout probably, how, how long did it take you? About three months. About three months. So that's, that's amazing that it, it only took them three months to do this. And uh, Brian's wife, Val, told me that a lot of the lighting, especially on the bridge, is dollhouse lighting. It's stuff that's used for dollhouses. So, for any of you guys looking for ideas for your layout, dollhouse stuff is often very usable on O-scale layouts. Now Brian's got these on a timer, I think. Yeah, you see there's a, let's turn the lights on real quick. See there's a button right there, and when you press the button, it starts this section of the layout. And, um, and it's on a timer, so a minute ago when you saw it turn off, it was because the timer, the timer expired. But pretty cool. Okay, I've had Brian turn the trains off for a minute so he can hear us better, but we'll talk about some of the structures here. There's the uh, Lionel Coal Tipple. I think that's what it's called. It's really nice. And over here, Brian was saying a minute ago, that these are those Woodland Scenics finished buildings. You can buy them and they're completely finished and they're really, really nice. I've actually thought about buying a couple of them for my layout. That one too, out of the box like that. We've, we've had a couple of details, but look at the back. Oh, they're, um, you know, four sides. It's amazing. Finished. If you look at the back there, I mean, look at all the detail on the back of the building. It's amazing. And that bike shop is the same way. All that is out of the box like that. It's incredible. And no matter which way you face the building, you're seeing a fully finished building with all those details. That is cool. You can hear they've got some water sound effects going on somewhere. <laughs> got some animated signs. Yeah, those are those, um, uh, Miller? Miller, yeah, Miller and Sharon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they've got a lot of uh, Department 56, of course. Which, let me tell you guys um, who have wives, if you want a way to get your wife to be okay with the trains, Get some Department 56 because wives love Department 56. Most wives do. But this is the Halloween Department 56 over here, and then they've got I don't know what that that is over That's there. That's called uh, I think Christmas in the City. Christmas in the City. And um, then they have over here you have uh, Snow Village, and up at the very top is North Pole. Yeah, Department 56 has all sorts of different collections, so they've got. Pretty much any any sort of theme that you want. And here's Dickens down here, Dickens Village. Dickens Village, yeah, that's it. Nice. Really cool stuff. And a lot of the Department 56 stuff has like animated moving stuff, I think. Uh, they got like signs. Is that a Department 56, the diner? Yes, all those, everything on this section is Department 56. It's really cool. You know, better than scale. All those are scratch built. All those are kits that you have to put together. And wh who were they made by? Uh, better than scale. P BTS. Better than scale. Oh, BTS. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are really nice. Up at the top there. So some really quality structures on this layout. And there's Dewey Cheatham and Howe, bankruptcy attorneys. <laughs> And what is this one here? Let's see. Uh, this Do the, Dr. Yeah, Dr. these are the MTH ones. Dr. Benjamin Dover. <laughs> He's a uh, proctologist. <laughs> ben Dover. The MTH has a sense of humor. Mm hmm. And Eileen Wright, chiropractic. It's Eileen Wright. That's awesome. So, yeah, it's really cool. Something else that's not on the layout that I'll show you guys real quick is something I saw. The uh, the little terminal station, the uh, Grand Central Terminal, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. um, this is from Lionel, and looks really nice. You can see there's a clock. Looks like they took a watch face and put it up there. But uh, that's really nice too. 
And unlike the first Grand Central thing they did, which was like a $1,500 and took up a whole layout, I think this one's pretty reasonably priced. I think it's like 250 or so. It's, yeah, and it's lighted. We don't have it lit, but it looks really neat lit because of the yeah. windows. Yeah. So there you go. Hey, for those of you guys who are big Norfolk Southern Heritage fans, here's a feast for the eyes. He's got a lot of the MTH and Lionel Heritage units on the shelf over here. These are all MTH right here. And he's got a few Lionel left as well. There's the Norfolk and Western, the Lehigh Valley, and a couple Pensies. Pretty cool. I'm hoping to one day get most of the Heritage units, but we'll see. Okay, so here it is on the shelf. This is the Nord Brown Chapelon Pacific, and it looks really, really cool. We're gonna start this thing up in a minute so you can hear it. And then here are the passenger cars. Now there are five passenger cars in the set. I've pulled out two uh, because it's kind of a pain to get them out of the box. But the detail in these cars is phenomenal. Let me show you the dining car. And if you look in there, you can see there's tables and lamps and so forth. Now, what's strange is that there are no people in these cars. MTH did not put any figures in the cars, which is a little weird, so I will probably have to put some figures in there. Uh, I was talking with Brian, and our guess is that they didn't do that because they probably didn't have any European figures to put in the cars. They, it would have cost a lot more money for them to make some European figures for the car, so they just left them empty rather than putting modern American-looking people in there. So probably a good idea overall that they didn't put any figures in there. And I'll go ahead and put some in myself. And then I'm also wanting to send these up to my buddy Jack Pierce in Ontario, Canada. And he's going to do some fiber optic work in these cars to put lights in the lamps and so forth. So these things are going to look fantastic by the time I'm done with them. But anyway, there they are. So we're going to go ahead and start this thing up and let you have a listen to it for a minute. Comment est la pression La pression est bonne. Let's hear the whistle.
Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is just play a few of the passenger freight announcement sequences. They're pretty cool. I have no idea what they're saying, but it sounds pretty nice. Okay, now we'll go ahead and shut it down. The last thing I'll show you here is just a little preview of things to come. Brian is letting me have one of these Atlas California Zephyr cars. These are fantastic cars, and he's letting me have one to review. So I'm going to be doing a review on one of these cars in the near future. I can't wait to take this thing out of the box. I've heard nothing but great things about these Zephyr cars from Atlas. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little field trip. Now, I will be doing a full review on the Nord Brown Pacific as well as the Orient Express passenger cars. So keep an eye out for that. And when I do the review, I will have all 10 of the Orient Express passenger cars. But for now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time.